Hi everyone, Fiery Fa again. So today I wanted to show you all um, an updo I invented way back a long time ago when I still had kind of shortish hair um, or half long hair. Uh, so I, at that time I had um, quite thick hair. I had very, actually I had very thick hair. To, uh, for straight hair I had very thick hair. And my annoyance was that I already had a bit of length, but not that much. And I couldn't do any updos with uh, sticks or anything, and it frustrated me. And then I started to fiddle a bit, and I found something that worked for me. Uh, so this one is for BSL length, even shorter uh, armpit length, you know? <laughs> when uh, your hair comes until here. Uh, the problem of course now is that I have a lot longer hair but you can still do it and then it's more of a, a Spanish, a kind of Spanish updo. Um, what I usually used for this are were my screws or uh, as you know it in the, in the US spin pins. Actually now you can also uh, buy it here in Belgium at Claire's and probably also in uh, in America, uh, but I used to do it with with sticks. I have no idea if, idea if it's still going to look good with sticks, but I'm going to try it and at least sh give you a little bit of an idea how to do it. So um, I'm going to explain this. Yes, um, if you have long hair like me, then you need to make two pigtails, but not make them all the way. If you have shorter hair, then you just make two pigtails. That's step number one. So, uh, of course, what do you need? Two elastics, prefer preferably in a color that doesn't show. And two hair sticks. I'm going to use my night blooming hair sticks again. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So just divide your hair in two, make two pigtails. If you have long hair, don't make them too long. Um, if you want to know how long you need to make the braid, the, the idea is to do this. To fold them like this and then go back inwards. So do that while you're braiding, take it up and see even, oh, I need to go about till there or something. So then you have an idea. Now to the, up, the really updo part. The first part is easy. Of course, my hair is a bit messy. It works better on um, more freshly washed hair, but not too freshly washed, but then it's slippery. Um, but okay, here we go. So you have your hair sticks. Also, um, pick the braid you find the prettiest, the smoothest, and the thickest. Use uh, that braid um, for the second part. So use now the braid you like the least. And now I'm going to. S this one feels thicker, so I'm going to use this one in the first part. There we go. And then you just fold it like this. That's all there's to it. And when you have spin pins, or just regular pins, but for me regular pins don't really hold, um, this is your anchoring point where you need to um, anchor it. And of course, see, be really careful that the elastic doesn't show. But remember, don't do it too tight because you need a little bit of room here. Okay, now I'm thinking if I'm going to do it with a stick or try it with pins. I have some pins here. Some um, Amish pins. I'm going to try it with pins, but let's see. I don't have my mirror with me. Actually, that was, that was not smart. To just pin it or um, screws, use screws. I definitely recommend screws or spin pins. I ho I'm really hoping it's going to hold, but for now. <laughs> okay, and here comes the more 
difficult part. Now you need the pretty, the more, most pretty, the prettiest braid folded over, but you need to get all this length through this little hole here, and that that is the sucky part. But I'm going to try it. It's been a long time that I did, did this one. And of course, as I can feel, my braid is going to be too long. Okay. So gently push it through. Use your finger like a hook and then pull it through. There we go. Now you're going to start folding it over um, your other braid. Because you want a nice, um, you want to see the pattern of your braid. Okay, fiddle, fiddle. And I'm going to pin it. I have no idea how it looks. Sometimes it takes uh, more than one try, especially when it's been a long time, like me, so I'm struggling a bit with it. I'm figuring out how is the best way I can pin it. Try to really fold the braid over the other braid, but sometimes you get some uh, some lousy bits, some uh, some loops. And I hate the pins. I have no idea if it looks that well. Okay. I will post a pic of how it's supposed to look. Um, so yeah, like this when you have long hair, it's like kind of a Spanish updo because you have a little bit of length, length showy, and you can put it higher up too. Then it kind of looks like a Victorian lady thing. But ah, see the pins are popping out. So I definitely recommend um, the screws or the spin pins because they're they're not holding. And if, if you want to use sticks. Just do the same, you just anchor them here in one of the points and put them more to the side. There you go. Actually, feels a lot better. But now, as you can see with, with the sticks, you need to get some... Uh, but it's really anchored. With the sticks, it's really anchored. But you need to find out what kind of sticks you want to put in that don't look like this, like I have little uh, mouse ears. <laughs> okay, but anyway, you got the idea. If, you've, if you don't have um, long hair like me, and you don't have the, the part sticking out, then you just have the, the little um, tight braid updo. And it's uh, ideal if you're not um, already able to do an, um, uh, how do you say it? A braid bun, a braid bun, because you still have the same effect if you're doing it right. No idea if it's right this time, but anyway, I just want to show you. I will show a pic of how it's supposed to look. And. Um, yeah, see you next time.